Hi there folks, it's Mike here back in our C++ series. And last time you saw me write this little program here with a Hello World program. And it was pretty lucky that I didn't make any mistakes. In fact, that's a pretty rare occurrence. You're going to make mistakes. And what happens here? Well, let's say if I forgot one of my quotation marks, for instance, and then I tried to recompile and run this program. And immediately you're going to see a bunch of different warnings and different errors here. And in fact, I see three different ones here. So the first thing I want to give you advice is always try to start from the top here. Because the errors that sometimes happen at the top of your code in the compiled language will often cascade down so you'll want to fix them in that order here. And the compiler can be pretty good at telling you what is wrong. So in this case, it's saying warning, missing terminating character here for the quotation. The message that you really want in English is say, hey, this is a string and strings must be enclosed between two quotation marks. But it's trying here. Missing terminating character, close enough. And it's pointing you sort of to the right position. And then we'll get the rest of the errors. But by just sort of handling one of these at a time, we can fix our message here. So let's go ahead and add our quotation mark. And then we try to recompile and um, rebuild here, or, or rather rerun our program. So there we go. Hello world. So the advice I give lots of programmers, and you're just going to have to take my word for it, or rather experience it, and then keep um, sort of building a good habit here, is make small changes at a time when you're writing your code, especially in C++, which is a compiled language, and you're going to see those errors cascade down, right? We were missing one quotation mark, but you saw three different uh, warnings and error messages that came up. My second piece of advice is to treat warnings as errors. In fact, there's a compiler option to do that here, where you can actually specify dash w error here, and that'll treat the warnings as errors. It's a little bit more strict, and usually when you have a warning, we want to treat it as an error. So let's go ahead and try to recompile here. And this time, instead of seeing that warning message here, it's just going to print it out as an error, which in fact it is. So that can be one way to have a little bit of advice that will hopefully save you some time. So make small amounts of changes in your code, tackle your bugs, whether they're warnings or errors from the top, and it's 99.99% .99 of the time appropriate to treat your warnings as actual error messages because often they indicate some other failure in your program or something that's a little bit suspicious. So with that said, with our little Hello World program, again, we're just going to try and reinforce some good programming habits as we go in this series. You'll see me make mistakes, that's okay, and I'll try to fix them on the fly, just so you can see, again, how I sort of debug or fix some of the problems in future lessons. It doesn't matter how big or small, everybody makes them, even me who's been programming a long time, or maybe some other folks who are following along who've been programming even longer than I have. All right, folks, so if you're enjoying these lessons, go ahead and like and subscribe, and let's hop into the next lesson and continue learning some C++.